Dungeon Seas 3 probably received the most mixed reviews out of the trilogy, and oddly enough the most critiqued facet of the game was that the PC version seemed to be lacking some of the fluidity and controls that were afforded the console versions. It's also developed by Obsidian Entertainment and published by Square Enix, which is probably why the game feels so different than the last two. The whole idea of starting as a random person and then growing that character depending on how you choose to play is gone. With that being said, the game is available on the Xbox 360, the PS3, and of course on Steam. I'll leave a link to that Steam store page just down below in case you guys want to check that out. There's also a link to my Twitch channel down there where I stream nearly every day. You guys know the drill. We're going to jump in, play for about 30, 40 minutes, give you guys a taste. Let's get into it. All right, let's go for a new game. Gamma looks pretty good. Oh my god. We are the 10th Legion, exiles from a dying empire who founded the Kingdom of Ebb. For 400 years, we guided and protected our people. We gave them peace, prosperity, fair judgment. Some say it was the death of the old king that turned the people against us. But it was Jane Cassinder who took up the sword and drove us from our chapter houses to states. I was not there for the final battle when the last of our legion faced Jane Cassinder beneath the boughs of an ancient, hallowed tree. Nor do I know what power she called upon in that forest to murder my comrades and friends. After that, the forest was changed, twisted and ruined. Only Jane walked out of that place alive. Thirty years have passed since the Legion was destroyed, and Ebb has suffered in that time. War rages without end between Jane Cassinder in the East and the royal family in the West. A few sons and daughters of the Legion remain. You are one of their number. Ooh, nice intro. I like that. Ooh, Lucas Montbaron. Dude, this looks awesome. So different from the earlier ones uh, from Dungeon Siege 1 and 2. Lucas Montbaron is the son of the former Grand Master of the Legion. He's the last of a line of noble, uh, of a noble and respected line. Raised in a series of safe houses by family, local, uh, to his father's memory, Lucas will not rest until the Legion is rebuilt and his family's honor is restored. The skilled swordsman, a master of two combat stances, he can fight with a sword and shield, which allows him to quick. Uh, attack quickly, deal heavy damage, and interrupt and stun single targets. Uh, when outnumbered, he wields a massive two-handed sword while slower to swing and less practical for one-on-one. -on -one. He can use his strike multiple foes and knock them back, making it an ideal weapon for crowd control. Oh my god. So you pick a chosen... Oh my god. This is a 10 out of 10 game. This game instantly receives a 10 out of 10. Don't ask me why. It's just... I've just got a feeling. Angelia is an Archon, a legend come to life. In the old stories, Archons were spirits of fire who served the long-lost creator gods. But Angelia was raised by friends of the Legion and she does not know how she came to this world or what happened to the others of her kind. Angelia can shift freely between her human form and an incarnation of an elemental fire. In human form, she fights with a staff or a spear, allowing her to fend off multiple attackers while leaping in and out of the fray. In her fiery incarnation, she can hurl bolts of flame at ranged targets, flood areas with heat and fire, or inflict searing wounds that injure her foes over time. Reinhardt Manx is a descendant from a long line of Legion mages. He has spent most of his life at the Collegium in the city of Stonebridge. Immersed in the study and the practice of magic, Reinhardt is known for his unconventional thinking and innovative magical techniques. Typical wizard, that's what I see. A scholar of arcane magic, Reinhardt warps the forces of creation and destruction to his will. His entropic magic can blast a wide area with life-extinguishing force, though it leaves him open for attack. He is perfect for destroying crowds of enemies as long as he keeps them at a distance. His dynamic magic is channeled through an arcane gauntlet and capacitor. It creates deadly currents of energy with a mere motion of his hand, allowing Reinhardt to quickly incapacitate a single target at close range. This is easily a 10 out of 10 game. I knew it from the start. And here is another reason why this is a 10 out of 10 game minimum. Katarina is the illegitimate daughter of Hugh Montbaron, the former Grandmaster of the Legion and a Lasanzi witch 
Her mother's people are nomads and wanted distrusted by many people in Ebb, but they are skilled in both warfare and magic and Katrina has always been trained in their ways. Katrina takes a thoroughly practical approach to conflict resolution, stay out of the sword's reach and settle your problem with firearms. Well, we, listen, it's okay, we, we can teach her a few things. With her rifle in hand, she can fell distant foes and even the most resilient enemy can be brought down by her ensorcelled bullets and debilitating curses. When forced into combat, Katrina uses sorcery and a pair of short-range sidearms to repel attackers. Lucas Montbaron? Angeli. I think, you know what, I think I'm going to choose Angeli. Oh my god. Casual. It is intended for players who are new to Dungeon Seas 3 or other action RPGs or those who just want to experience the story without too much fear of dying. Normal difficulty is intended for players who are at least somewhat familiar with action RPGs and want the game to be challenging but not brutal. Hardcore difficulty is intended for skilled gamers who want a challenging game that pulls no punches. Warning, not recommended for the faint of heart or those prone to throwing controllers. Never. Let's play on normal. Continue. Oh my god. I write to you, my young friend, with urgent news. I have always believed that you are special. Ever since I found you as a child at the edge of the forest where the Legion died. Look at my cute little you burning are face. An archon, a creature of legend, as you seem to be, then you are a sign of hope to me. And it's no accident that you fell into my care. As the last survivor of the Legion, I've tried my best to keep you safe and to teach you the ways of your kind. But Jane Cassinder still hunts for the sons and daughters of the Legion and for all those we hold dear. Now I fear that her spies may be getting close. We cannot delay any longer. We still have a chance to join together rebuild the Legion, and take our country back from Jane Cassander before it's too late. Agreed. Let's the get this done. The sons and daughters of the Legion are gathering in the north at the old Mont Baron estate. I urge you to join us in the Valley of Rukenval as quickly as you can. Mm -hmm. Help us restore all that was lost. Your faithful friend, Odo. Odo. You can now buy your keys in the option menu in addition there. Uh, bada bing. Uh, Ooh, look at that con. Oh my god. Look at that. That is awesome, man. Okay. Use DNA to rotate your camera and middle mouse button to toggle between zoom modes. So we've got two modes, that one and that one. What about, can we go, oh, 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 okay. We zoom in here. Do we have an overhead map? No, we do not. Or at least not yet. Montbaron Estate. It's burning. Look for survivors. My dude told us to come here. We've arrived in his... He is dead with a massive sword wound across his chest. Uh oh. We're we getting these doors? No, we cannot. Several arrows protrude from this young man's back. He must have been taken by surprise or was killed and fled. This man must have been a descendant of the old legion. He's been killed by multiple stab wounds. Okay, these people have all been put in the ground. Burns cover most of this man's body. Like the other dead men you've seen, he was probably a descendant of the Legion. Mm -hmm. 
very welcoming to us. Wait, what is this? It seems to be a half-finished letter written in Odo's hand. Parts are obscured by dirt and ash and you can only make out a few lines. If my first letter did not reach you, then I urge you to join us in the Valley of Rukenval. Most of the others are already there. We number almost 40 in all. Gunshot wounds. The bullets tore straight through his armor. Oh my god. Died from a gunshot wound. Oh my god, dude. These guys have been absolutely clapping. Contain loot. Press E to reveal their contents. The Mall of Quickness. How do we get this stuff? Oh. You can equip items from the player menu. Bring up the player menu by pressing C. Select equip and then select your character or just press F. C. And then equip. Oh my god, this is a little cumbersome. Here you can equip your character weapons, armor, accessories. Bada bing. So we want the Mall of Quickness. Oh. Hell yeah, I like that. Now we're starting to discuss it. Oh, we're not going that way, are we? Oh, what are those little balls? Little glowing balls. Hang on, let's grab this. What have we got here? Reinforced boots? Uh, C. Equip where the boots at. New. Oh, I like that. I will say that right off the bat, this seems a little more... This seems unnecessarily cumbersome compared to just like opening up inventory and equipping your stuff. Odo tells us that the Mont Baron line is not yet dead. The son of Hugh Mont Baron is apparently still alive and he'll join us here soon. And the old Grand Master may have had a daughter as well. You know what I mean? You want you want the 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 um this man another descendant of the being crushed by falling debris. You want the the uh, the inventory to be nice and quick, man. It's like there's no need for it to be uh, for it well, to be. Well, seems we have another rat trying to escape the trap. Uh, yep, we just cut those guys down immediately. But his face seems familiar. Like you, it must be one of Odo's young wards. Ooh. What have got here? A fierce cinder? Wait, what is fierce cinder? So you've got to press C. I've got to go to equip. Fierce cinder, attack plus four. Ooh. Nice little upgrade there. Like, I do, I do like how it's, like, attack DPS 9. I, I like that stuff. I do like this, but the way that this, like, there's animations to, like, close it and open it. I mean, this is, this is kind of unnecessary, you know? Like, you should just, like, click straight to the new, new screen or whatever. It's like, this was that, I forget that this was that age when UI design was turning ludicrous. Uh, sent to block. Ooh, okay. I got you. Hold space while standing to block. Interesting. Nice. Press 1 to use spinning kick. Say again, over. Killed everyone here. What are these cutscenes? Press Q to attack. To oh, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we already figured that out. Martin Geese Guard. Switch stance to my like uh, super mode. Oh my god. Okay, let's relax. Let's calm down. What's in the box? Do we have it? A fierce bracer. Um, let's go this way. What are we doing? 
Let's have a look at this brace at this fierce little attack boost. Little block boost. Nice. Easy. Anything useful over here? No? Okay. Hello? I was afraid everyone else was dead. Are you alright? I'm not doing too bad. I'm fine. But who are you? Have we met? I have a voice. No. But Odo's told me stories about you. The warrior maid who fights with a spear. My name is Martin Giescard, and I'm a friend of Odo's and a son of the Legion. Oh, there's like dialogue choices. Wow, where's Odo? I didn't see Odo upstairs. Could he still be alive? I hope so. If he did get out, maybe some of the others are with him. Damn, they found us again. We can't wait any longer. I've set a trap. Three kegs of gunpowder on the bridge below. Thought I'd cover my escape if they found me. All we need to do is light the fuses. Come on, to the bridge. Alright, let's get it done then. Oops, let's go. I mean, you know. My dude, we got a small silver bar. Oh, you see that? That's why we gotta get the job done, champ. Where are you going? You're trying to... See, the problem with this guy is he doesn't understand the fine tradition of looting. You understand? Like, we, we need to ensure that we pick up all the loot. Breastplate. Fierce breastplate. Look at that. Now we're starting to discuss it. Uh, we got anything else over here, my dude? Of course we do. I knew it. Let's go this way. Go on. Light the fuses. I'll get to the fuses in a second. Right? Hold your damn horses. There's loot to collect here. Oh wait. Okay. Sorry. Two more to light. Hurry. And the last. All right. Let's get out of here. Well, we could have taken these these dumb pirates anyway. Look at that. None of them even thought to look. The Mount Baron estate burned, and with it my dream of a reborn Tenth Legion. Or so I thought. I did not know that you and Martin Giscard had escaped the destruction. As you fled into the night, you bore with you the future of the Legion. Pursued by enemies, fleeing toward an uncertain fate, you made your way across the empty leaves of the Rukenfall. Throughout the journey, you were driven by a single hope, that others had survived the devastation, and that they reached the safety of the Rukenfall chapter house. It was a slender hope, to be sure. But even a small hope can warm a man in the cold dark of night. As long as you drew breath, the Tenth Legion yet lived. But your foes pressed close about, hunting you. The fate of the Legion, the fate of Ebb itself, rested with you. I am the Chosen One. I know this part of the valley. We've come a long way. Oh, nice. I think we're close to the old Legion chapter house. If any of our friends is still alive, that's where they'll be. Uh, what happened to the estate? Tell me about the attack. What do you remember? Odo sent letters to all the descendants of the Legion. He wanted to gather them here, train them as Legionnaires, and take back the country. Mm. Most had already arrived when the mercenaries found us. They surrounded the estate. Must have killed the men who were on watch. They smashed through the windows and the doors, slaughtered everyone they could find. Then they set fire to the house. Who were they, though? Those mercenary soldiers. Have you fought them before? They were Leskanzi, I think. A wandering people, from the desert in the north. I have no idea who sent them here. Leskanzi will fight for anyone who pays them. No, 
Our real enemy hasn't shown himself. Or herself. Not yet. How many people died? How many people were in the estate when you were attacked? Almost 40. All sons and daughters of the Legion. God damn, they wiped us Some all out. Some of them had fought in the wars. But the rest, they were no match for those soldiers. No mercy. Well, really? We can hope that a few survived. But most of them are dead. Our enemies didn't seem interested in prisoners. Wait, I thought if we were part of the Legion, we were legends, not just... Chumps who couldn't, like, handle a couple of mercenaries, you know? Did you see what happened to Odo? No. I lost sight of him when the fire started. But we agreed to meet at the old chapter house if anything went wrong. Okay. That's enough about the attack for now. Right. Maybe Odo can tell us more. If he's alive. Chapter house? The Legion had a chapter house here? In this valley? They built chapter houses in every part of Ab. Even in remote places like this. There were strongholds where legionnaires would meet, sometimes in fellowship, sometimes for war. You should have seen the Grand Chapter House in Stonebridge, headquarters for the whole legion. My father took me inside it once. All right, enough waxing poetic. Let's get on. I've never been here before. Does this valley have a name? They call it the Rukenval. It's hard country, not easy to control, even with an army. That's why Odo chose this place. He thought we'd be safe here, while we trained a new legion. It's very dangerous. You said this is hard country. Are there any dangers I should know about? Spiders. They're as large as a man. Uh oh, and they're nope. smart. They'll ambush travelers on the road. Of course, there's giant spiders. And there's worse things in the forest. Have you heard of the Dakenware? The Beast Lords? No. No, I have In other parts of Ebb, they're only stories. Out here, believe me, they're all too real. Who lives here? How many people live out here? Only a few. There's a village, Raven's Rill. Most of the people are hunters and trappers from all I've heard. Pilgrims and merchants used to come here before the Legion fell, made the town rich. But that was years ago, when the roads were still safe. Any other estates? Were the Mott Barons the only Legion family in the valley? No. The Gundricks had a manor here too. They were an old family. And they were here long before the Mont Barons. Stefan Gundrick didn't stand with the Legion at the end. I never heard what happened to him or his family. Slaughtered. Thank you. That's all I need to know about the valley. Sorry I couldn't tell you more. I've only been here for a few weeks myself. Now you're all good, bro. Let's go. Let's keep moving. We can talk more later. You're right. The chapter house isn't far. Follow me. Okay, let's go. You can save your game at beacons throughout the world. Create new save. Look at that. If our enemies knew we were at the estate, they may have guessed that we'd make a run for the chapter house. No help for it though. That's where we agreed to meet. We'll have to stay sharp. They could come for us anywhere. At any time. Um, what was that? Ooh, what was this? A glimmer. Oh. Determined spark. Ooh. Radiant Yantra. What is that? What is that skill? Is that something else? Swooping melee attacks with a spear useful against groups. Right, yeah. Firepower, but it's less suited. Right, got it. A military camp. Less Kanzi by the look of it. Can't be a coincidence. Let's look around. We might find out what they're planning. A swift glimmer.
Determine spark, swift glimmer. Determined staff. Ooh. Oh, can I just press I? No, you can't. More of quickness. Determined staff. Six willpower. Oh, so here we go. This is gonna. We're really starting to be like, okay, well, this is about magic. Or melee, isn't it? Hmm. Actually, you know what? Let's just go willpower. Yes. Let's just go willpower. Got spinning kick, the aura of immolation. The cinder of rage. Fierce Cinder. Can't really see how these are changing. Anything? There it is. The brick to the chapter house. Okay, do we have to take it though? Or can we just sneak off up this way? He's gonna be like, we need to go up there, and I'm like, no. Another camp. They've hired a whole army. Yeah! Heads up! <laughs> That's all of them. Let's head back to the chapter house. Ooh, that that sound. Man, that sounds real good. We are not heading back to the chapter house, my dude. Reinforce helmet, I like that. Yep. Nice. Definitely equipping that. Come on. The chapter house is in the other oh, direction. Oh, I see. Alright. We're good. What do we got here? Get out of my way, dude. A swift agony. What the hell is agony? Different skill? Agility and willpower. Attack goes down. Ooh. Okay. Agility and willpower. Hmm. Well, I think this is a good thing because... That just sounds so badass. There is a... Oh, that's a save point. I got it. So the... Looks like trouble up ahead. Huh? What's this? Oh, well. Looks like I'll make some decent coin for this job after all. Move aside. Out of the way. We have no business with you. Spoken like a woman of the Tenth Legion. Arrogant and foolhardy. Lucky for me, I found you first. That means I'll get a handsome bonus for your heads. Who's your boss? Who's paying this bonus for killing legionnaires? I don't get paid for answering fool questions. I get paid for killing legionnaires. Lively up, boys. It's time to earn some gold. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. I've been shot by that bastard with a gun. Essences, you've just acquired your first essence. Notice how my old buddy was like, Oh my god, I've just been shot. And we're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Take it easy. Okay, we've got some loot to examine. 
They specialize they can be applied to your equipment to provide additional statistics. Okay. Essence can sometimes be found on the bodies of defeated foes or stored with coins out of the treasures. Uh, okay. Wait a minute. Let me get my loot. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Game. We're lucky. Odo is on the other side of this gate. Absolutely not. Equip. Bracer of quickness. There we go. It's about time. Okay, so where was this? Where was this thing? Oh, maybe that's what it was. Abilities. Maybe the essence was actually already tied to that, um, that bracer. The Legion Chapter House. You're alive? Both of you? I thought I... I was the only one left. Odo, you made it. But where are... The others. The men and women I've kept safe for 30 years. Dead. How'd you escape? You don't seem hurt. How did you get out? I rounded up a few of our people. The only ones who hadn't been killed. Reynold, Hannah, and one of the twins from Drakenberg. Giles, I think. Oh. We jumped from the second floor of the house, made a break for the woods. Go on. Tell me the rest. Some of the mercenaries saw us. They fired their guns. I heard one of the others cry out. Then there were more Lescanzi in front of us. We tried to fight our way through. By the time it was over, the others were dead. All I could do was make my way here. It's our plan. Who else could have survived? We need to find them. What about Lucas Montbaron? I didn't see him at the gathering. He wouldn't have known to meet us here, and he might still be alive. And there's another survivor, too. The half-blood Lescanzi girl. I couldn't convince her to join us before, but things are different now. Ooh. Might have been one or two others who hadn't arrived yet when we were attacked. Hard to say. Oh, we'll find them. If they're alive, I'll find them. Martin, you'd better stay here. I agree. You're bleeding, Giscard, and you can barely stand up. I'll do what I can for Martin, but he'll be no help to you, not like this. I'm sorry. You'll be on your own until you find the others. I'll do this alone, then. Head for the town of Ravensrail. Just cross the bridge and turn right at the crossroads. Try to find Lazar Basili, the town boyar. He's an old friend and he'll help us if he can. And be careful. Those mercenaries are still here in the valley. Keep your eyes sharp and come back safe. Oh, leveled up. Mmm level up when you level up you earn ability points proficiency points and talent points spend those to improve your character in different ways one two or three there are nine in total abilities you can learn you do not earn ability points every level proficiencies these are upgrades for your abilities buying proficiencies allows you to customize the effects of your abilities to suit your play style you earn one proficiency point every level except at fifth level where you receive a bonus point talents these are general improvements to your character and are not restricted to specific abilities there are three tiers of talents you can only purchase from the first tier now you will unlock the next tier at 10 um you can purchase a new ability recruit tier of abilities of which you already have two the final ability is your first defensive ability please purchase your defensive ability now this guy right here inner warmth confirm easy okay the aura of immolation oh it increases its damage per second by 10 on the right half of the screen you can find the proficiencies um 
10% chance per rank and searing warmth to deal damage to enemies when she is attacked. Uh, mm, okay. Spinning kick has a 20% chance per rank to inflict, a, uh, to inflict burning damage over time. Inner warmth, 10% uh, chance to rank. Oh, so there's two kinds. Oh. Aura of immolation. I like inner warmth. Um, well, this is damage, actually. Right? Fiery presence or cauterize. Um... The aura is damaged per second by 10%. Let's go DPS. Yeah. And talents. 5% bonus to will per rank. 5% of Angelie's agility is also applied to the block value per rank of Grace of Flame. Angelie's crits have a 4% chance to stun enemies per rank in Spiritual Devastation. 10% chance per rank in Phoenix Swarm to regenerate life when she takes damage. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Done. 6,000 EXP. That's a double. We'll display the quest guide. Glowing orbs that lead. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that first look at Dungeon Siege 3. Again, there's a link to the Steam store page down below if you guys wanted to check that out. I can confirm that this feels completely different to the first two. Not in necessarily a terrible way, just it's different. It's it just doesn't feel like Dungeon Siege. Anyway, what's your guys' thoughts on it if you've played this game? I'm curious to know if I'm the only one that thinks like that. Anyway, as always, a huge thank you to all of my patrons. You guys are absolute legends. See you guys in the next one.